Hey everybody, I'm here with the guys from Delhi Bison Entertainment outside the reopened Chinatown Fair Arcade. And I'm here with the manager, Lonnie. Okay. First question, Chinatown Fair Arcade, it's been here for decades. It has a big, strong brand name in this community. So I'm just wondering why you chose to reopen it. And have you ever owned arcade before? Yes, I've, I've, had, I've had other, other places before. And, uh, and I decided to reopen it because I, I believe that there's a, you know, we all believe that there's a, there's a business here that can be had. Uh, we just know it has to be everybody that's included in the community. So we want to get families as well as the fighting crowd that's been here before. Okay. So you know that this was big with the fighting game community. Mm -hmm. And this is where basically the New York City community cultivated, mm -hmm. right? Many great players that come here. I don't know if you're aware of Justin Wong, Sanford Kelly. Mm -hmm. So my question is, why open the arcade with no fighting games right now? Well, we, 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 we will, number one, we will have fighting games. Number two, we opened without the fighting games because we're reconditioning them. They were in very bad shape, the, uh, the games that were here. And basically, you know, Chinatown Fair went out of business because of the crowd that was here with, with just fighting games. So we know we can't have just fighting games, that that's impossible. Now, we have coming in uh, a, um, what were some of the old, there was, there was Street Fighter III, uh, the Third Strike is coming in. These will all be in within a couple of weeks. They're just all being reconditioned. Getting the games reconditioned takes a lot, lot longer than getting in new games. And uh, so we'll have the Third Strike, we'll have Marvel versus Capcom 2. And, uh, and then we'll also have the Puzzle Fighter. Um, and, you know, any new fighting game that comes out that's really good and hot, we'll, we'll have it. Okay, and I saw Xboxes in there, so do you plan on having a lot of cabinets or mostly disc-based games? Well, I, right, right now, well, right now, actually coming in probably today or tomorrow, we have the, a council coming in to put in, to put in front of there. Okay. Uh, and, and that's got all the, the top fighting games for the, for the Xbox. And uh, how we go about, you know, deciding on whether or not to make just a council where they can sit down, stand up, or to put more in, it will all depend upon the crowd that we get and, you know, how, you know, how long, how much business it will bring us. Okay. Now, are you aware of another arcade called Next Level? I've, I've met Henry. Yes, you he met was Henry. Here. He was here at the grand opening. So, do you feel that your direct competition is with the Next Level itself, or with things like no. Dave and Buster's or no, Chuck? No, no competition. No direct at all with, with with Next Level whatsoever. I, I've called us a cross between a Chuck E. Cheese and a Dave and Buster's without the food. Right. Uh, <laughs> so, because we have some of the things that Chuck E. Cheese has, we have a lot of the things that Dave and Buster Buster has, and. Uh, and, and therefore, you know, we're kind of, you know, we just, but we don't have the, we don't have the space to put in food or we would have food too. And, but we, we plan on doing lots of birthday parties and getting a lot of, a lot of families in here. That's uh, our, our main objective right now, as well as keeping the fighting crowd. And, uh, and what we'll do with the fighting crowd is I think that we'll probably put a wall up in the back and have a separate section, you know, once we get the, the, the really hot fighting games in that attract the crowds and, and we'll, you know, we'll be able to accommodate everybody. Okay. Yeah. Now, you're talking about accommodating everybody. It is relatively small in there, mm -hmm. so I mean, is there any room for expansion in the future? Maybe uh, go to well, a different I mean, location I, at absolutely. all? Absolutely. If 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 the if the business is there, first of all, we could also take right next door here if we wanted to. Okay, but uh, we got of course the street has empty space. There's a lot of empty space around here. Uh, the first thing we have to do again is we got to make sure that there's enough business here that warrants you know having additional space. Right now, we have enough. We we have. Now, this week we have coming in what's called the, the Wizard of Oz. It's a, a great, you know, game that the adults and kids love to play that they, you know, again, win tickets for and win prizes. And, uh, they, again, it's not geared towards the, uh, the fighting crowd, but I think the fighting crowd will like it too. And, uh, and so, you know, we try to appeal to a little bit of everybody. We even have a pinball machine in here. I mean, a pinball, if the pinball machine is in the top 20 or 30% of games, we'll get two or three more, maybe a dozen more. It, it's all... You know, it, it all has to do with profitability. As a, as, a, as a straight, just fighting crowd place, the business unfortunately failed. Uh, but again, I, I'm, a, I'm a believer. I, I've been in this industry since I was a little kid. Uh, I know the industry inside out, and uh, I know what you need to do in order to be successful. And we kind of did what they call a soft opening, okay? We basically didn't do any promotions whatsoever, and we, we still had a pretty nice crowd here. And uh, we're going to start promoting. We're, we're waiting to promote to get all the games in here. Okay, I'm glad to see the direction it's going in. Obviously, you want to stay here for a long term. Obviously. Right. We're so, the long term. about promotion, do you have a website right now? Yeah, we do have a website. It's www. 
Chinatownfair.biz. For the, for the uh, crowd that wants to be out late, we are open every day, seven days a week, from 10 a.m. to midnight, five days, and to 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. on Friday and Saturday nights. Okay. So we got all the way open 16 hours a day on, on Fridays and Saturdays, and 14 hours every other day of the week. Okay. Well, we wish you the best of luck on your business. We really do, and we hope that it stays here for the community to grow uh, and prosper. As long as, long as as long as we have the customers, we'll be here, and I'm sure we're going to bring in lots of new customers because we're going to be doing lots of promotions in the next couple of months. That's great to hear. Once again, this is Harsh Kumar with Delhi Bice Entertainment, Empire Acadia. Check us out. Check out our YouTube, our Twitter.